Hello, so in Tibia we have the event Winterlight Solstice active. You can face the Perch Queen and kill her and I'll show you how you can do it on a level 100. To get access to this boss, walk to Svargron and use this small boat. You will need a pair of twig arms, a broken bell and one pair of perch horns to get access to the boss room. To get twig arms you need to find a hammer and then use the hammer on a bunny bunny. After you use the hammer on the bunny bunny, just right click on the bunny and you will find a carrot. After finding a carrot, you will need to make a large snowball. So find this spot where it looks like a big snowball. Right click on it to get one snowball, then use it again to get another, then combine the two snowballs to get a large snowball. After that, use the frozen carrot on the large snowball and you will spawn an animated snowman. Kill it and loot a pair of twig arms. You can only create one animated snowman every five minutes. However, if a gust of wind blows away your snowman, you can create another snowman straight away afterwards. Once you've gotten all three items, run to the boss. The boss room is located here, just follow this path. Once at the teleporter, use one of the items on another to make yourself look like a perch raider. You can kill the perch queen with up to 5 players every 20 hours, but it's quite easy to solo on level 100. You will take little to no damage at all in this place. So, one thing that you need to know is that if you go to the north side without being a burning man, you're gonna get kicked out immediately. So don't do that. Another one is that the perch minions that attack you will make you cold. And if you're cold, you go and stand by this bonfire until you're comfortable warm again. So start off by walking on the green circle to become a leaf golem. Use the bonfire to get a torch. Run and light the bonfire to the south by using the torch. Then walk on this grass square meter while looking like a leaf golem to spawn a wild growth tree. After this, I usually leave the tree Run back to get comfortable warm and become a leaf golem again. Then head back to the grass spot. Right click on the tree to spawn branches. Then walk and summon another tree and click them all. You will now have 10 branches on the floor. Pick them all up and use them on the bonfire to the south. After using 10 branches on the bonfire, the bonfire will become a blazing bonfire. You will need to use 10 more to summon a fire elemental. So from now on, you need to repeat the steps of becoming a golem to keep yourself warm and run with the branches. After delivering 20 branches, you will summon a fire elemental. You will need to have a torch on you to light the bonfire again. When I have used around 18 branches on the bonfire, I click the bonfire to become a burning man. Becoming a burning man means that you can run up to the north without getting kicked out immediately. Once the fire elemental spawns, run north with the fire elemental and make it step close to the perch queen. You will need to repeat this to make the perch queen vulnerable. It is basically a matter of make sure you're warm, make sure you don't run north without being a burning man and just deliver the branches to the bonfire. Since I'm a mage on my level 100, I summon a rat to make the perch minion attack that one instead of me, which saves me a lot of time. You can also trap the rat with fire bombs or firewalls, but I didn't bother because the boss is quite easy anyways. I'm not quite sure on how long you have to complete this boss, but I've seen people be here for more than 20 minutes. However, killing this boss with this tactic will, will take you around 8 minutes to complete. To get loot from this boss, you need to attack this boss with elements. So, Exodi Flam for mages, don't use Exodi Frigo because ice will heal the boss, Paladins should use great fireballs and knights can also use them. If and when you kill the perch queen you will receive an outfit 
and if you're lucky and loot a perch skull, you can get a mount. Kill this boss five times to get full boss diary for it. So it's quite easy and you should definitely do it. So I hope this guide helped you to kill the perch queen as many times as you can. The loot is quite good and it takes about 8 minutes to complete on level 100. So try it out. And if you liked the video, leave a like and until next time guys, see ya. Thanks for watching. To be a blackjack. Play now and win many Tibet coins. Blackjack, roulette, crash game, and high low. Plus the chance of winning 250 Tibet coins every week. All provably fair games. Link on the description.